Track progress. Activity completion or completion tracking displays what students must do to complete each activity. They will see the conditions when clicking into an activity and also, if the teacher chooses, on the course page. And note that the circular completion indicators in the course index on the left give a quick view of what a student has done and still has left to do. Activity completion reports are also available for teachers, as we can see here, so they can check the progress of their students in a course. Teachers can manually mark activities complete on behalf of students. Let's go into Teacher Sam's course and see how to set this up. From Course Navigation, our teacher clicks Settings and then scrolls down to Completion Tracking. This should be enabled by default, but if not, set it to Yes. To have the conditions appear on the course page as well as inside each activity, she sets Show Activity Completion Conditions to Yes. If Sam sets deadlines for some tasks, these can be displayed by going back up to Appearance and setting Show Activity Dates to Yes. Now our teacher can go into an activity or resource and set the completion tracking criteria. Sam has a course rules page and if she clicks into it and then clicks Settings, she can then scroll down to select the completion conditions. The choices are None Students must manually mark as done or Add Requirements. Clicking Add Requirements displays options for automatically marking it complete. In the case of a page, this is View. Here, our teacher is going to require the students to view the page and she's going to set a reminder in the timeline. Now, when she returns to the Course Rules page, she clicks the Completion drop-down to remind herself of the condition. With Edit Mode enabled, she can quickly edit that condition. In other activities, such as forums, there are other completion criteria. So if Sam goes into her Introduce Yourself forum and clicks Settings again and scrolls down to Completion Conditions, we can see that there are various requirements. And for a forum, for example, our teacher can require a grade or require that students post a certain number of discussions or replies, and the activity will only be marked complete when they've done that. Finally, note the link Course Completion from Course Navigation More. Here, our teacher has a drop down menu with three options. She can specify activities required for completing a course. She can bulk edit the default completion conditions set by the admin and also bulk change criteria that have already been set.